Right, hello. So this is the unboxing of the 7300. Looking forward to it. I was too naked yesterday to do it. So, I'm buzzing to get into it. I'm gonna keep this quite short. <laughs> for the ice IC 7300 internal clock Ooh, it's a touch got a clock on it well as most people know that I'm upgrading from a 450D which I know is quite a big quite a big upgrade so in this video obviously you're gonna see me unboxing it everything you get in the box and then we will uh, fit it into the shack and it'll be the first operation. I hope the camera's all right. It's taken a while to get it. I couldn't work out a better way to do it. All that. Pushing the old uh, Messi and Poloni cables and stuff. Radar. Right what we got here? I like that don't come out. Let's for this box first. Oh. All right. Oh, I see leads. I see leads. Oh, all right. That's obviously your four pin power. Oh, with a filter as well in in line. I never knew it come with a filter in line. DC cable with EMC filter. Little touch of that, innit? Alright, what we got here? Various different size jack plugs. And a DIN plug by the looks of it with some leads for various bits and bobs, I'm sure. Some spare fuses. Put that to the side. Oh, the old mic. I've never seen one of these. I've seen one. That's cool. I'll open this up in a minute. Right, so for the beast itself, I suppose. I don't know where the front is. I'm trying to find a knob to give me an indication where the front is. I hope this is all in frame. Oh, hello. Brand Spanker. Looks nice, quite a decent bit of kit. Yeah. Good. Very nice. That's good. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Right. Anything else? In the, box? Oh, the old manual. Apparently, this isn't the full manual you get with it. I think you have to download the full manual, but I'm not too. I'm not too sure on that. I did see it in someone else's video. So let's move this to the side. This was purchased from Martin Lynch. So check them out. Big shout out to Richard at Martin Lynch for hooking it all up. It was good. All right, so what we got here then? So your power, your PL, USB, various different bits and bobs. Oh, nice little stand on the bottom. That's cool. Oh, 
Right. Have a look at the old mic. Yeah. I've heard amazing things about the audio with these mics on these radios as standard. So I'm uh, looking forward to it. I used to get very good audio reports on my um, 450 Delta Yaesu. Um, that's gone to its new owner, Matt. And I hope you... Um, Treasure it and look after it like I did, my boy. I'm sure you will. Oh, nice, mate. Nice. Really work good quality. Right, the kids are going mad because the ice cream van's turned up. So you try and do this so it's all quiet and everyone leaves you alone. And it ends up being a nightmare, doesn't it? Right, so that's the unboxing. Feels uh, very good quality like you'd expect from Wycom. So, I will leave it here and you'll catch me up when it's in the uh, the old shackaroo for the first turn on. Catch you up in a sec. Right, welcome back. It's now in the shack. Very easy to connect up really, to be fair. Positive, negative. Um, I'm running mine for the moment off of a forklift um, battery. I need to buy an Anderson connector so I can plug it into various different bits and bobs for power. Um, yeah, the earth strap on the filter just goes to a, a screw for the earth. The four pin power lead clicks in really snug and nice the PL259 screws on um, regarding size compared to the Yaesu it's a little bit taller but to be fair I don't think there's much in it really apart from it's a bit taller it's a little bit heavier um, I've put a screw up for the uh, for the mic so it doesn't dangle around everywhere so I'm gonna take off the plastic wrapping Wicked, eh? Most of my radios, well, in fact, all of my radios have been um, used radios. This is the first ever new radio out of the box. Hence the video, really. Um, so I literally have not got a clue what I am doing with this radio, to a point. So I'm going to go for the first turn, turn on, first power up, and then see how we go from there. Very nice. Oh, let me check what antenna I've got in. Remove that. So I've got my off centre fed dipole in at the moment. Um, that's a good old volume. I really want to see what the VFO's like, so let's have a go. Oh, hey. See if it transmits. Yeah. Nice fan kicks in. I know there's a lot to this radio, so I'm not going to run. I'm going to uh, take it slow, I believe it's a touch screen or, alright, okay, as I say I'm sort of lost to be honest, um, right, okay, let's see what's happening on AE, swap my antenna over for my dipole that I use for AE, it's a bit quieter. Very good feel 
national VFO. Very lovely screen on it. So clear. I know people are sitting there thinking, put the waterfall on, put the waterfall on. It's not really made a lot of difference to my noise compared to the Yaesu. But I think I've got the Yaesu. When I had the Yaesu, I managed to get the noise down quite considerably to what it was. So I've managed to get the noise down to... Sometimes it goes lower, but it's usually around about a two or three. There's a few bits open on 80. Yeah, let's leave that there for a minute. Right. Let's just go. Oh, hello. What's that day? I'm not going to keep you for ages doing this. I want to learn it in my own time and I'll probably do another video. Um, do another video in a couple of weeks. Sounds really nice on the uh, receive. Sounds really nice on the receive, to be fair. Alright, let's shoot off from there for a call signs given. Um, yeah, really. Yeah, really impressed with it, to be fair. I can't get over the difference in the VFO compared to the 450. The 450 is very well built radio. Excellent radio for a beginner, um, for your first HF radio. But, um, yeah, it's very good. Let's get away from that noise. Yeah, so anyway, I'm sure I will learn many things. Um, and, uh, yeah, look, it looks like I'm picking it up already. And um, I'll come back with another video. Um, I've kept this one short. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, I don't really do much editing. I just first take i'm a first take warrior record it and whack it up so for reference for people and to document what i've been doing myself so um i'll give it a couple of weeks and i'll come back with another video and uh, let you all know how i'm getting on catch you later on Oh, good, Andy. Um, good, <laughs> good afternoon, Andy and Keith. Happy Easter to you, pair. Um, yeah, I've literally just unboxed. Um, I picked it up yesterday. A um, seventy three hundred Icom. So uh, you are my first QSO. So I was wondering if you could give me a report, please. Over to you. Yeah, what's your name, please? Yeah, operator. This end is Lee. Lima Echo Echo. I'm about ten miles um, out of North London in Harlow in Essex near Stansted Airport, Rog. Yes, please. Um, Keith, have you got a copy on the uh, uh, Two Echo One Hotel uh, Juliet Whiskey? Yeah, Two E One Hotel Juliet Whiskey G Zero T S H. Yeah, good afternoon, Lee. Five five nine up onto the north south Yorkshire border. Oh, wicked! No worries. I've got a um, I've got a dipole for eighty meters in a field out the back from me, so um, it does work wonders. To be fair, but um, I'm used to a Yaesu 450D, so this is a little bit of um, a little bit of an upgrade for me, HI. So um, yeah, I thought I'd get my first QSO, and um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I've got a lot to learn. It's a lot different to what I'm used to. But um, the audio coming in on the receive, I don't know whether you guys have either got one or seen one of these 7300, but it's absolutely amazing uh, from 2E1 HJW. Oh, wicked guys. No ways. Well, listen, I'll let you get back to your conversation. Thanks for letting me get in. Happy Easter to the pair of you and uh, stay safe and all that. Hope the family's well. Thank you very much for coming back. Like I say, I, I heard you. You, To be fair, you was the strongest signals to me on the waterfall. So I'll come straight to the waterfall and uh, pick you guys out. But thank you very much from 2 Echo 1 Hotel Juliet Whiskey, 73s, and have a good uh, rest of the bank holiday. Seventy three to you. We're out. Bye bye. Well, my first QSO. Five and nine to Ipswich, and I can't remember where the other fella was, but that weren't too bad. The receive audio is really good, so I'll whack this on the end of the video. And uh, like I say, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.